Hello everyone. Today I decided to start at the bus and move it around the yard a little bit because I had it parked further up the driveway for my live and I wanted to pull it back towards the shop so I can maybe work on the uh, governor. And I noticed the alternator was the generator correction, the generator wasn't charging. Is it a generator, not an alternator? So I'm back into the box again that uh, Phil and I had to look at before and uh, I'm gonna see if I can figure out why it's not charging. First I have to go find my multimeter though, so I'll be right back. Well, I couldn't find my good multimeter, but I did find my little travel one that I usually keep in my mobile tool kit. So, uh, we can kind of have a look and see what's going on here. So, let's check the ground. Negative. Okay, that's correct. Let's go ground positive. There we go. Okay. Now we're on ohms. Okay, let's check from field to field. That's good. That's making contact. That's the wire we repaired. Um, maybe let's start at the bus and see what voltage we have. Maybe it's just a bad gauge at the front. We wondered about that before. Now this starter once in a while won't start and all you gotta do is just bump the flywheel ever so slightly and then it'll fire right back up again. charging now. I didn't do anything. But now it charges, so what the heck? Well that's strange. I wasn't showing any voltage there before, but now I am. Huh. battery's just getting really far down because I started it a bunch of times and I haven't really run it to charge the system up so maybe what I just need to do is put a battery charger on it and uh, go from there because maybe it is charging but the battery's just so low. be loose. 
least I don't think they are. I think I need a new rectifier here. How? Fuck me. We'll cut that out. Wow. Okay, so I figured out what's going on here. Um, two out of three of these diodes are burnt. This is the only one working. So all the current is going through this one wire and it's 150 amps up to. Um, that's what this regulator will produce. And they put this rectifier in here. They're using it as a basically a big Zener diode. Um, if you were to take this out and connect this directly, when the bus is off, the generator would be live and it would allow the generator to drain the battery. So by putting this in between, it's preventing current backflow. So if we check right now, turn my meter back on. DC, I should have no voltage here, which is correct. However, on the top side, I should have battery voltage. Which I do, which is correct. So, this is basically a set of diodes to prevent the battery from draining. And right now it's not working properly because two out of the three are burnt. All the current's having to go through one. And uh, the generator is actually, when I had it running a second ago, it was seeing 17, 18, almost 20 volts at times to try and generate 14 and a half volts. And it's not even generating 13 unless I wiggle these wires and then it kind of starts to generate 13 and a half, 14 volts. So, um, I'm going to see if I can find an original setup for this and get it working properly. I don't like this setup at all. Um, it's kind of, well, it's not right um, to begin with, and it's kind of Mickey Mouse the way it's, it's, it's set up. So uh, this is a problem with running diodes in parallel. The current will always take the path of least resistance, so I suspect that's why these have burned out. So uh, temporarily, I'm just going to order another one of these. They're about 25 bucks. Uh, that'll get me going again. I'll carry a spare. But uh, I'm going to start looking for a proper setup for this. So if you guys know of any silver sides that have a good regulator, or I would imagine this probably carries over to maybe a 4104 or a 4106, but I would like to get a complete assembly, and I would like to get it working properly. So stay tuned, folks. Cleaning up all these connections at the terminal from the alternator. So I cleaned this guy all up. You can see, you can see all the dark corrosion on there. That was all heavily corroded. I cleaned up both sides of it. I cleaned up the stud that goes on. Now I'm cleaning up these guys. See that what that side looks like versus the side I'm cleaning. It's, so make sure we've got good connections to everything, and we'll put it back together. We'll run the bus and see what we got for voltage. Okay, so we've replaced the rectifier here. We've got three good diodes now. System's charging. In fact, I was even able to turn the uh, regulator down. It was hitting 15 and a half volts, so I turned it back down a bit, so we're back where we should be. So I've just recrimped these on, and uh, this is rated for 150 amps, so I think the DN50 is 200, so I, that's a bit under spec, but then the regulator is also for 150 amps, so it might be okay. Um, this is not proper use of a rectifier. This is actually a rectifier that's designed to con convert AC voltage to DC voltage. That's why there's three leads coming off it, because those normally come off the uh, AC leads on a, on a AC generator to convert it to DC. So 
what they're doing is they're using it as a big diode basically to prevent uh, current backflow when the bus is off so that the bus doesn't drain through the, all, the generator because if you didn't have this rectifier in here the generator would be hot all the time and it would have a voltage drop so or a voltage loss so that's why they've put it in there it's not the correct use uh, we're gonna see if we can get this fixed up at some point but it works for now and I've got a spare I'll carry the spare they're only 25 bucks we got it all the way home from Minneapolis like this with one diode working so we'll see how long it lasts um, the one I took out here you can see these are just completely fried that's why they're so loose and um, two of them are fried only one of them tested good so we'll go from here see how it goes that was fun only a slight casualty of my fingertip as you can see uh, we weren't getting any voltage coming through the rectifier we had 17 or 18 volts coming out of the generator directly, but it wasn't uh, getting through the rectifier and going into the battery set. So we were only seeing battery voltage and it wasn't charging. After I changed the rectifier, it was working good again and uh, we're off to the races. So we took Gus for a good drive and uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of Gus. For those of you that want to see a driving video, uh, please keep watching. Thank you.
was hiding behind the trees when I first looked. go where he's being told to go either.
stop so we can see it. Check you out. 